you're actually really lucky to be in a very exciting and challenging climate at the moment in higher education. It might not feel like that at times, but obviously we've got the funding review coming up. Um, international students are facing tougher immigration rules, and um, your governing bodies are going to be dealing a lot of, with a lot of these issues in terms of how it's going to affect them, especially financially in the next few years. So however much we may not like it, it is likely that your, your governing bodies will be talking about an increase in fees um, for students and how they're going to deal with that, and also possible other funding streams. So um, you should be prepared for all these different, keep up to date as much as you can with higher education news, looking at, you know, the Times Higher and Guardian Education. Just keep up to date so you can be, you can have those conversations within your governing bodies. Um, so the importance of effective student representation I'll be talking to you about. You have a responsibility as student governors to really show the worth of student representation. So it's very important that you get this right this year. It's not just an impact for you and your institution this year. It's also the sustainability of the student movement as a whole. Um, also, I'm not going to pretend that this is an easy job. You're going to face many pitfalls and challenges as student governors. And to get the most out of your role, it's a great development opportunity. Um, you can kind of sometimes forget that, that actually this is a really good personal opportunity for you guys, um, but also for your student body. Um, you know, you've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, and I don't want you to do that today.